Good morning, I'm Gary Howell. I'm the building manager at St. Francis of Assisi Church. And what I'm gonna point out to you today is uh, information regarding the lighting. Lighting, as you see in this area, is uh, reflective off the ceiling. And uh, the difficulty is the tube lighting, they're called T8s, were the most efficient ones they put in years ago. However, they have become more and more obsolete. Uh, it is more difficult to get the ballast and the light tubes to replace them and it is limited in terms of the actual lighting we're getting. Uh, the, the, the ceilings were painted many years ago and as a result have become dulled over the time and that also um, causes difficulty in reflecting of light down to the parishioners down below so it makes it more difficult to see what's going on down below. We're now in the choir loft stairwell and in this area you're going to see lighting as a difficulty. Um, this area the lighting was probably put in uh, 40 years ago and it is again very outdated uh, the fire department has come in, in in the past and said we should consider upgrading this whole thing uh, this area is probably the darkest of the stairwells um, and if we have people having to uh, leave this area very quickly we could run into difficulties although throughout most of the church we do have T8s uh, in the main church in certain parts of the church we do have the old T12s and to show you the difference uh, I'm in the east uh, stairwell. Uh, this is a T12, old T12 uh, light, and now we'll go over to the other stairwell and I'll show you the T8s. Just that little difference, and then you'll be amazed. We're now in the west stairwell, and I'm just going to show you the difference between the other stairwell. This lighting was changed approximately five to six years ago to a T8 format. Uh, this lighting is much, much brighter. However, it's in the T8s and the T12s, that, that lighting is going to be obsolete soon. And if we change it over to a LED and a newer fixture, that will last a lot better and give us much better lighting. We're now in the hall, and I want to point out that all the lighting within this is the old T12 lighting system, the original ones that was put in. It's efficient, more efficient than the old bulb lighting. However, you cannot buy the tubes, you cannot buy the ballast to replace them. Um, if you notice up here, bit by bit they are all slowly breaking down and I can't replace them. So at some point this is all going to fall apart and it has to be replaced. We're now outside the upper bathroom area. Um, this area as you can see has uh, recessed lighting which uh, even though there might be some uh, LEDs in it, the fixtures themselves must be replaced because it is darker and foreboding when you walk through this area. I've got you now up in the sanctuary area to point out a few things. Up on the wall you're seeing lines that are occurring and that's from the nails that are holding the drywall into the framing system. Um, if we increase the lighting and change the lighting within the church, those lines will be much more visible for the parishioners down within the church. We are now down in the church itself, and a few things I want to point out. Below the Stations of the Cross, there is dust and dirt that has gone down below it, and that was from the last renovation, the major renovation they did here. Uh, that has accumulated during that time. Up on the wall are areas where you've had speakers, and there are wires coming down, and so you see discoloration below that. In addition, where the wall has been repaired from having speakers coming down. You, it's very, very, very difficult to try to match something like this and it's much easier just to go through, clean it, and repaint the whole thing. One of the difficulties we're having in the church is that this is a water heated system. Uh, and you see above the vent here that there is dirt showing up above. And that is dust that is collected on the heating vents and then the oils that might be found in there are collecting on the wall. Now this wall was washed, I would say, five years ago five or six years ago. And as you can see, if you start washing a wall, you need to um, do it as far as you can. Otherwise, you end up with a high water mark here. And that is, unless you get right to the ceiling or to an edge, uh, is very visible. We're now in the main part of the church. And the things I want to point out here is, we've already talked about cleaning and painting the walls, painting the ceilings, changing the lighting here. If you increase the lighting, the reflective value off, that, uh, off the walls, you're going to get a much brighter and it's right now. This is a full lighting as we sit right now, and as a result, you can see it's a little bit darker than what we 